Well, would you look at that. Elon Musk has come out and he is prepping people and getting people ready uh, because he's saying, listen, X, is, there's going to be a fee for everyone. This is not surprising if you understand the major bot problem that X and really all of Web 2 has at this point. The idea is you can completely eliminate the bots if, or, or I wouldn't say completely, but virtually eliminate the bots with a small payment. Everybody pays a certain amount of money per month. It'd probably be around five bucks, maybe 10 bucks. Is this a smart move for Elon and for X? I don't know. I, I would have to look at the internal data. I don't have that in front of me, obviously. I would say, you know, this is something I talked about months ago. It, it's going to have to happen. All of this crap is so inorganic when you go on X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it or any other, even Instagram, half the comments you go on any type of YouTube video that's like crypto or something, you'll see so many bot comments. It is just such a mess and the whole idea, it's like Elon and really all of these developers, they're chasing their own tail. There's no solving this because even if you want to say, oh, we can eliminate the bots by charging people $5 and then obviously all the bot accounts are not going to pay $5 so they can't use it. Um, even if you do that, you're still going to have these artificially inflated follower counts. You go to any big time celebrity and you audit their Twitter or their, you know, X, you'll see that, you know, most of their followers, or I wouldn't say most, I'd say about 30%, on the bigger accounts are completely fake and they're not real people. So would you just take all their followers down? I don't think your user base would really like that, seeing their follower count get slashed that much. Maybe that's the only answer. Uh, but Elon Musk says users will soon have to pay for X in effort to stop bots. And, and me personally, I have no problem paying five bucks, 10 bucks. Personally, the only thing I get annoyed with is, is just putting my uh, debit card on these things, stuff like that, that annoys me. But 10 bucks a month for, for X or whatever, that really doesn't, uh, you know, make me all that angry. Oh, and by the way, Threads is completely linear. Uh, it's been linear since it launched. And I came out and I said, it, it's a complete joke. It's a total bust. And yeah, they have no uh, user base there whatsoever. That's another Web 2 failure. And that's Zuckerberg, who really, I mean, he completely artificially inflated the numbers in the first place by saying, oh, you're going to carry your follower count or, or over rather than organically letting followers happen on threads. And threads, the, the interface is horrible compared to X. It's not even close. You can't even get news off of threads just because it's so hard and annoying and clunky and tedious to work. But all of this leads to... A bigger conclusion and that conclusion is that we really need to start developing uh, actual web 3 projects that will eliminate the bots because bots are the number one problem that can disrupt us when it comes to using social media organically people don't even know they'll go on social media they'll get in an argument their day will be ruined because it's a bot on the other end that's why we need to develop things like planet nebula which is my baby and I've actually been thinking about Planet Nebula and the development of it. And I think what I want to do with it, uh, because originally I said, listen, when it comes to, I mean, this is a, just a genius idea, number one, with Nebula. Uh, the idea of, because people always, you know, say, oh, what are you buying when you're buying cryptocurrency? Well, no, you're buying part of a digital planet. That's the point. And you also get the coin to go along with the planet. Uh, and now what I want to do, the original plan was to just let Nebula, the planet, develop from the year zero organically. And really, no matter which area of land you bought, you have no control over how the land actually gets developed. I'm going in a different direction now, I think. And I think I want to do something where people can develop their own areas. Let's say you buy five or six acres on Nebula. You would be able to develop that area similar to city building games uh, where you could put stuff down, do things. I wouldn't want people altering and graffitiing my planet by messing with it and putting in a bunch of, you know, like mountains, you wouldn't be able to edit the terrain, you wouldn't be able to edit the river, you would have to buy the area you want, but it's just like the idea, you get a blank canvas when we start the planet, and not all of the planet is going to be available for purchase right away, uh, it'll be about 50 to 60% of it, and then we'll go from there, and, and like segments of it will become available as the years end up passing, we want to keep the scarcity to it, but that's like the idea, I actually want people to develop their own areas 
And you look at something like on Reddit when they did that place thing, I think is what it called, where all those people, I mean, that's just something, that's a little sham thing on Reddit where it's 2D crap and you edit a tile, but people like coordinating that, creating that, imagine if people actually invested into something like Nebula to where they got their own area and the stuff that they could create and their own land. And then obviously if you want to sell that, that's perfectly fine because Nebula, it's an investment. You know, any cryptocurrency is an investment and you can buy it, you can get land. It's not going to matter. You don't need to do anything to the land if you don't want to. It's just an extra step to get people onto the planet to where you can customize your own land. The land really doesn't, although I may offer incentives to where if you do develop some really cool stuff, maybe you'll get like a tax or something and, and we'll throw in like a 1% tax on your acres just because of how impressive it is. But it, it, that would all be have to be worked out later. The idea of it is you want more people on Nebula, and Nebula really is the next big gateway. We have to do something to get to Web3. The bots are going to be eliminated. You're not allowed You're not allowed to create multiple accounts with Nebula. And, and see, that's the big thing with it. You're not going to want to, though. There, there's no need to. And really, like with Twitter, I understand people want to have burners, things like that. That's really an Elon Musk problem. And, and I know Elon wants to do the whole, oh, it's an all-in-one, we're copying the Chinese app, you know, we're going to do that. I don't think that works with, with Americans. It's not going to work, in my opinion. People here really don't want and aren't interested in having their payments and banking coexist with social media accounts. That's just not a good mix, you know. It, it, maybe that's just me not open to new things, and maybe it'll work, but... I don't know. We'll have to see what uh, Musk ends up doing because Musk is certainly priming going all in on the everything app. The first step of it is eliminating the bots and, and you're going to make people pay for it. I mean, guys, and then people complain about paying for X. Think about, I I've paid for Spotify probably the past three years. I don't even remember it because it's just on auto pay and I've probably been paying for it. It's like, what is it? A $10 fee? Oh yeah. They've all been upping their fees by the way, because of inflation, all of these accounts or all of these like services Spotify is like, oh, it's going from nine ninety from nine ninety nine to eleven ninety nine or something because of the inflation issue. Of course, inflation's actually gone down. It was at nine percent back about a year and a half ago. It's down to three percent, but they still want to up it. Uh, but either way, I'm getting off track a little bit. We will have to see what the next move is for Musk and, and really all of these Web two platforms because it really is like realigning. The chairs on Titanic, it just does not make a difference at this point. Even, I guess I, I would say eliminating bots would certainly be a step in the right direction, but there's already so much artificial interactions on X. It's kind of a joke anyways. I mean, I, I could just tell you right here, the next big social media is going to be, someone's going to say, hey, we're eliminating bots. Every person you talk to will be a real person uh, and, and that's the, whatever that ends up being, it's just going to be absolutely huge. Uh, but either way, guys, I just wanted to discuss Elon Musk. It looks like possibly charging people money to pay for X. I don't think it's really that big of a deal in terms of, you know, I'll pay it. I think it's just kind of annoying putting in your debit card, you know, personally. And then the Nebula development where I think, listen, uh, we give people the idea to where if you own an acre, you can edit that. And then obviously like the most, the biggest thing here is with the VR. Cause, cause we know Apple is coming out with their Apple goggles and everyone's complaining. And what is it? $3,500. Yeah. This is how technology works. It takes time. It's really expensive at the beginning. We remember the supercomputers, how big they were, how expensive they were. We remember the TVs with the big asses, how expensive they were. Everything gets better. Everything gets cheaper. VR is the next big thing, and I hate that. I'm not even a fan of VR, but obviously VR would be huge on something like Nebula to where you could go on your own land, and really you could explore the entire planet and go see what other people have built and, and walk inside of what they have. You wouldn't be able to mess with it because there'd be a lot of people doing things to other people's land. We wouldn't be allow that. You could possibly also gamble your land against someone. That's something. Although that's a slippery slope. You might not want. So I'm not even sure you could do something like that if it was, if it's a cryptocurrency. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's either you just buy it or sell it or hold it. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.